Hello and welcome to my quick look at the new Freesat box. This is the 500 gig version which I purchased from Amazon a few weeks ago. Um, the remote control, I would say it's very good remote control, reminds me of the old Sky Plus HD. Uh, from here you can turn your TV on and off. This was already programmed uh, to control my Samsung TVs, but I'm not sure uh, if this will control other makes. This button turns the box on and off. When it's off, you have a red light. When it comes back on, you have a blue light. Sorry, press it twice, there you go. Uh, sometimes you get like a purpley light if it's updating, but I've only seen that once or twice. If you press the home key, this takes you to the recommendations pages. Uh, you can also access the guide from here. And you can also access on demand quickly from the remote. Guide, on demand shortcuts, ITV hub shortcut, iPlayer shortcut and Netflix shortcut. If I press the home guide, it takes you to the recommendation pages. Uh, I've turned the sound off just in case there's some copyright issues. Uh, from here, again, you can access the TV guide, your recordings. Um, that's what I've recorded so far, test recordings. If you click the button again in the middle, OK, it takes you to a more condensed view of your recordings. Uh, move down to the one you want, click OK, continue watching or watch from start or delete or whatever you need to do. And then on remote, you have a play button, forward, rewind, pause and stop button. I say really, it's not a this similar from Sky Q in a way. Uh, I think it's a bit better than the old Umax box that I had before, previously, uh, a few years back. Also, you can access from the main recommendation screen, uh, the on-demand section. And there is quite a bit on here. Again, this is a more sort of condensed view of what's due on the next few days or so. And you can watch them from here. Some apps do require you to register, like UK TV, ITV Hub, um, and BBC iPlayer. And if you click on the on-demand section or press the button, it takes you to another screen, and you can access more on-demand players from here. BritBox, Prime Video, Netflix, YouTube. Also, you get the settings from the main screen. So I have this on 4K at the moment. Uh, the picture's really good. Um, but one thing I did find when I plugged this into my Sky Q HDMI port, which has an HDR filter applied to it, uh, the screen looks a bit washed out. But removing this, um, the picture looks really good now because it's just like a standard picture setting. And when you press information on the TV, it does say HDR in a way. So you don't need to apply HDR on your TV because it already applies it from the box. Um, mine connected wirelessly to my internet. And signal strength. And I've got a wideband LMB. TV guide to defaults to and now and next and sometimes it can be a bit slow to populate but it's not a deal breaker uh, but if you move the cursor on the remote control uh, right or left it expands the guide out and then whatever show you want to record just press OK on the remote and then you can record set your mind or find out when it's showing again and then back here to come out. Um, if you go back on the remote, certain channels allow you to watch the shows on earlier on demand. So, for example, if I go back to this morning, 
BBC Parliament live Treasury questions or there's the live COVID-19 committee. Again, click on that and you can watch that from on demand. Watch it now. Uh, overall, I would say this would be a good Sky Q replacement. Um, my Sky Q bill is due to go up again. And uh, I'll be paying nearly £47 just for a bit of Netflix, Sky Movies, and multi room. And I'm due to get another price increase come October when the multi room goes up to £15. Um, this one at the moment is in the bedroom, and I'll be getting another box for downstairs. Obviously, you'll need to be connected to your dish. Um, for this to work there's no wireless options as in sky q uh, but luckily we still kept our old uh, sky plus multi-room so we're able to use this box upstairs overall so yes uh, this is this is good um my tv watching has changed i mainly watch netflix and amazon the wife watches coronation street and emmerdale and if i want to watch anything on sky i just get the odd now tv subscription every now and then okay thank you for watching